I cannot believe that some people question that. In the same way with the panel of chairs, we have faith and trust, and I know that you've got faith and trust and you wouldn't even want to proceed on that basis. Well, hello then, I do hope you're all well, and I do hope you all had a fantastic weekend and a fighting fit. Well, you'll be wondering what happened here to cause our Lindsay Hoyle to threaten the chance of his peerage. No, I'm only kidding, but... Tory MP for Christchurch, an avid fan of upskirting, Sir Christopher Chope. Yes, when an MP wanted to have a debate on maybe we should uh, put pervs in priv- prison who, uh, you know, want to take pictures of women up their skirts. So our Sir Christopher Chope basically said, What? You women don't want to have the privilege of having a perv take pictures from up your skirt? Outrageous! Well, during a private member's bill on Friday morning... About hunting trophies, obviously. That's Bill, so to speak, that was in its remaining stages, whatever that means. Well, Sir Christopher Chope asked a question that will literally just blow your mind. Point of order, Sir Christopher. M- Mr Speaker, can you please clarify this position for me? The, as I understand it, my, our right honourable friend, the member for Thanet North, is likely to be able to take the chair later today during these proceedings. Can you confirm that he won't be able to take the chair until we have disposed of the first bill on the order paper because he spoke in quite uh, vehement terms on second reading in that debate? Sir Christopher, sit down, don't worry, I've got the point, you don't need to labour it. The answer is, anybody who takes this chair is completely neutral, independent, like all honourable members, I have faith and I have the trust in anybody who sits in this chair. I cannot believe that some people question that. In the same way with the panel of chairs, we have faith and trust, and I know that you've got faith and trust and you wouldn't even want to proceed on that basis. Yes, told you it will blow your mind. Yes, our lover of upskirting is now demanding that people who do not agree with him shouldn't be anywhere near Parliament, let alone be near the chair of the Speaker of the House, and if you are wondering what he's got his knickers in a twist about, about or who, uh, that's Sir Roger Gale, a fellow Tory. Yes, they're starting to hate on themselves now. I love how he called Sir Roger Gale our right honourable friend, then proceeded to just shit all over his integrity and objectability, I suppose. Uh, the absolute brass neck and of our avid lover of upskirting thinking that this was a question worth asking. You know, that's Sir Roger Gale bloke. He's not a fan of a bill I like and probably find upskirting disgusting as well, so I hope he's nowhere near the commons while this bill is going on. And I know, I'll ask the Speaker of the House. I'm sure he'll think I've asked an absolutely superb, fantastic question. And he'll give me a pat on the back and also my constituents of Christchurch will think I've asked a brilliant question and I am representing them superbly unbelievable eh (laughs) the brass neck of the bloke but what do you guys think let me know down below and until the next time I shall bid you farewell and take care my friends